Well, thinking he was on deck to take to the mat, a Greenville County High School wrestler was in for quite the surprise. That's right. Dana? He had no idea yeah. that his semen brother was home for a very short trip, and their emotional reunion was really something else. As the Woodmont High School wrestling tournament gets underway. As I, I I thought I was about to have a match. I thought I was going to hit Super S. At first, I just thought he was wanting me to work tables or something. Wrestler Jesse Royal and his brother Taylor made their way to the front. I didn't know until he, like, until I saw him. I didn't I had no idea. It wasn't until these two turned around that they realized the oldest of their trio, Russell, was home. I was shocked. I was like, I had no idea. I thought he was still in Japan. After a few days in Virginia, Russell and his parents arranged the surprise homecoming. Eight, almost nine months since I've seen him. You know, that I used to be a wrestler myself, and you know, was, you know, they. I heard his tournament was today, so that's pretty much what I wanted to do. It's been a long time since I've seen him, so I'm pretty happy that he's here to support me. And while a hug may not be your standard wrestling move, in this case, tears of joy are welcome. It's not every day I get to see, see him and give my family a big hug these days. So it's like it's it's a you know very basically it's like something new to me. And I, it's very touching to be able to have my family in my arms again. The younger Royals say their time apart from Russell is hard, but this unexpected reunion couldn't have been better. Oh, it's pretty cool. I feel kind of special. It's a little tough being away from any kind of family or anything like that, and uh, you know it's just uh, really good to be home. Now, Jesse and Taylor only have a brief visit with their big brother home. Seaman Royal is set to head back to Japan early next week. We'll come. Jason! Oh. Hey. Hey, Taylor. Evan. Evan, Evan, look at here. Evan. Evan, look at right here. Everybody ready? Yeah. Hold on, we're missing somebody. I don't know.
Sergeant Lazarus Brown was on a covert mission, sneaking into the cafeteria of Barbara C. Jordan Intermediate School. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> nervous for Just feet away, Sergeant Brown's daughter walked in, thinking she was there for a garden variety lunch. We're starting something new today. But then the principal announced a new program called Student of the Month. And it's Malia Bennett. <laughs> I just couldn't believe he was, finally came. I'm so excited. Uh, I've been gone for a while. You can see her face and uh, how excited she was to see me. It was, uh, it was awesome. Sergeant Brown, who's in the Air Force, has been in Afghanistan for six months. He was supposed to come home Saturday, but instead flew 19 hours and landed at midnight. His wife sneaked him into his own home, into the guest bedroom. He threw boxes and whatnot, so I, I kind of hid in there. He waited for another 13 hours before he could hold his children. I smelled something like he was home. Like I could smell his scent, but I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. But the family was still not complete, and together they headed over to Watts Elementary School, where his five-year-old son, Lazarus, was in the library, his teacher reading a book about the military. When Lazarus looked up, his father was standing in front of him. And for the first time in six months, the family was finally together. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God! I'm oh, oh my God! I'm oh, sorry, I'm I know you did. I'm oh, I ignored it because I knew I was. Marley, get down! Get down! Look at me! Hi! Did I get a hug? Yeah. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, you smell like sunscreen. Did you miss me? Your messy face? Are you waiting for your surprise? Yeah, what do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> okay. You ready? Take it over to show Jen. Yeah. Okay. Come out here. Come around here and look. Look around the front of the house. Keep going. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey. Who is it? It's my dad. Yeah. Oh, no. Surprise. Was that a big surprise? I hope she's not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably like, her imagination going crazy. What's she going to be bringing me? She's next door. She says, when my mom gets home, I'll I'll bring my I'll come back over and show you my big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is it. I hope you like it. Do you like your surprise? <laughs> I told you you'd like it, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, Grandma said it is a big surprise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huge. Huge and enormous. Yeah. You look like you've been having show, fun. Showing him how big your hand is. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> you have daddy's hands, huh? Show him your hands. Where are you doing? 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 returned from Afghanistan serving our country. So uh, this is a pretty cool thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Scotty's really close to his uncle. So yeah. they wanted to surprise him because he just got home. Who is your No. Well, he's a vet. Uh, eight, nine months. No else. Well, well, since February. You got, you got tall. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Sorry, there is no uh, going to pick up Uncle Man on Saturday. <laughs> How many of you have a family member that's been overseas in Afghanistan or Iraq or anywhere else?